Thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44. Today is April 2nd. It's the day after April Fool's Day. And first of all, I'd like to say if I did upset you with my video from yesterday saying Scientology's doors are closed, I'm sorry. Uh, most people got it that it was an April Fool's joke. A lot of people got that it still felt good to even think about the concept of it because it will happen eventually. And the things that I said in it are not far from actually occurring. But they're not, it hasn't happened immediately, and it was meant as an April Fool's joke. Unfortunately, a couple of people got upset about it, and to those people, I'm sorry. Okay, the rest of you, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, to me, it was just fun to say it, just to even think about it, to kind of roll through all the things that could. Here's my t-shirt from the guys from Germany. Woo, anonymous, thank you. They brought me that when I was in Ireland, and I love it. It's a great t-shirt. And anyway, in the meantime, um, a couple things. I wanted to ask you how you feel about the videos. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, I love interviewing people. So if anyone in the LA area or anybody wants to get interviewed, come on over. Or if you can help me figure out how to do an interview with Skype, that would be really cool. Because then, then I could interview anybody and we could put it on YouTube. But I'm not sure how to do it. So if you have an idea on how to do it, let me know. Meantime, I'm going to continue on with my education on the darker side of the Church of Scientology. For any new people, why am I doing this? I was in Scientology 30 years, escaped out after 30 years in, chased across the country. Tampa police got me out of the Tampa airport. They do a bear. I left because I found out about this dark side. And it's unbelievable, the stuff that they have. It really is. And they keep it pretty well hidden from most of the people in the Church of Scientology. So you don't really see it. And you're kind of thinking, yeah, that's not really true. Honestly, I stood up in court saying that is not true when Margaret Singer said they did fair game. Fair game, L. Ron Hubbard said you can lie, cheat, steal, destroy someone utterly. Now, that's if they say anything bad about Hubbard or Scientology. Now, me being a true believer, at the bottom, they wrote he wrote a cancellation right away because it was a big PR flap in the church. And he wrote a cancellation, but at the bottom of the cancellation, it says this does not cancel at, cancel fair game. It just cancels the usage of the word fair game. And it and at the very bottom, it says this does not apply to suppressive people, which if you haven't seen it, I haven't brought it out in a while, but I am a declared suppressive person. This is what they look like. SP declared Tori Bazazian, which was my married name, 15 September 2000. Boom, Mark Bunker put up Magoo dancing in Boston. I was declared overnight. Never had any kind of technology, not the air ethics thing, not a committee of evidence, nothing. Just declared that was it. They didn't even tell me. I just found out later. That's another story I've told you about. So in the meantime, I'm continuing to educate people on some of the darker side. One of their really creepy things they, they use is a thing called target defense. Now, this was the old, it's a copy of the old thing from the Guardian's office with the targets written out, typed out, target defense, right? And I'm going to read to you what it actually says. This is someone else had typed it out so that you could read it a little bit better. Here, here it is, targets. There they are. It's a pretty long thing. But anyway, here are the targets, the vital targets on which we must invest most of our time. This is the Church of Scientology. One, depopularizing the enemy to a point of obliteration. Ooh, spooky. Two, take that that means me. I'm a declared suppressive. I'm I'm an enemy to the Church of Scientology. Not in my mind, in their minds. So that means total obliteration. Pretty spooky when you think about it. Two, taking over the control and allegiance of the heads or proprietors of all news media. Woohoo. Intense, T3, taking over the control and allegiance of key political figures. They've failed on one, two, and three. T4, taking over the control and allegiance of those who monitor international finance and shifting them to a less precarious financial standard. I have no idea what that means, but I have a feeling it's not good for us, we the people. T5, generally revitalizing the societies in which we are operating. Of course, that's based on Scientology and what they consider to be good or bad. And remember, anybody that's below 2.0, for them on that tone scale, they're just sweeping under the rug. We'll see them next lifetime. Forget it. 
you know, pretty much. They, they even told me that. I said one time, what about homeless people? And they said, ah, you know, Scientology makes the able more able. We'll have to get them next lifetime. And I was like, really? You're a church and you're just going to get them next lifetime? Pretty amazing. T6 winning overwhelming public support. Failed utterly, Davy Boy. And T7 use all other similar groups as allies. Again, a failure, David Miscavige, because of your own actions. It's not because of our actions. It's because of your actions. Because of the things that you do to your staff, to your public right now that are so abusive and creepy that people don't like you anymore. That's what's happened. That's it. In a nutshell. So anyway, if you're in the Church of Scientology, come on out. We're having a great time out here. If you're helping expose these abuses, I thank you from the top and the bottom of my heart. I love you all. Peace out. Have a fantastic week. Bye-bye.